I do remember standing on a, a shoot for a dinosaur show in the middle of Stonehenge at dawn, eating these bacon and egg McMuffins. It just strikes you what an odd thing you're doing at some particular moments in time. Hi, I'm Dave Cook. I'm head of 3D here at Jellyfish Pictures in London. At the moment, we have uh, three studios. Over the last five years, I guess it's gone from about 40 or 50 people to around about 200 people. I've been at Jellyfish since 2010, and I came to do Planet Dinosaur, and I was a, a senior lighting artist back then, and I've been head of 3D since 2015. So Jellyfish does an enormously wide range of content, but particularly we specialize in feature film visual effects. And we also develop our own original children's IP in-house. We have a very strong in-house creative team that will take an idea and develop a vision. And then we've also got a great team of technical artists who will realize that vision and make it actually come to life on screen. Well, in the last year or so, we've done a number of of high profile shows. We've done The Innocence, obviously, for Netflix. We've worked with Lucasfilm on Solo, A Star Wars Story. And we've been the main vendor on uh, Amblin Partners' forthcoming film, Captive State. Obviously, we've been working with Netflix, and everything's in 4K, everything's in absolutely in sort of maximum quality all the time. The, the flexibility, the agility as a smaller company to look forward and to, you know, we have a very forward thinking CTO who's planning a lot of technological advances that will make it easier for us to be creative in the, the future. The reflex you have is technology is going to, to make your life easier, but of course it just makes the things you're already doing easier, but at the same time it opens up new horizons of creativity and more work. Clients' expectations are always going up. I think the integration of effects and not necessarily putting them center stage, but having them as a sort of very fully integrated and planned part of the drama, whether it's as a sort of actor in the drama or whether it's more as a invisible sort of background element that just makes the whole show feel bigger or more, you know, of a period. Those are the things that are going to keep going as far as visual effects are concerned. I think.